You faced a lot of um, barrage of questions about your negative presentation of the situation in Nigeria. How did you take that? It's not negative. It's I prefer to call it realistic. Yes. Um, it's not negative, you know. I don't have to make it, you know, light-hearted or to make it, um, to, to launder it in any way. It's, it's the way it is, you know. And the truth is that when you look at the news, you know, the, the, the foreign media, they know what's happening in Nigeria even more than Nigerians do. There's nothing to hide, you know. Everybody knows what's happening in Nigeria. So I'm under no obligation. I don't feel obliged to to give it like a happy face and say that this is not what's happening. Well, it is what's happening. Nigeria is in a dire situation and I feel it's my duty to tell the truth. That's what I do as a writer. Um, and you're quite passionate about um, the crisis going on, in, especially in the northern part of the Nigeria. What's your take on that? What do you think is the way forward? Well, I'm from the north, for one, you know, and I'm from the affected areas. I'm from the northeast, you know. The word she used was one damn passionate Nigerian writer. <laughs> do you see yourself as well described as a damn passionate Nigerian writer. Are you quite passionate about well, Nigeria? I'm, I'm passionate about Nigeria, you know. That's, that's, that's um, what I feel the most passionate about, you know. Because it's a beautiful country, it has so much potential, you know. I know, I know Nigerian people, they are hardworking people, they are decent people. But then you see the way the politicians are running the country and you feel really sad. Um, so that's really what makes me angry. And I think Nigeria has a great future and eventually we'll get there and we just need to get to get the right leaders um, I don't know how we're going to do that but the potential is there Nigeria could be anything it wants to be if we can just get it right and that's what makes it so annoying Which of your works would you say best describes you as in the, the one that you feel closest to amongst your writing? I don't know I have, I have um, my take on all of them I have a soft place for each one of them in a different way. Waiting for an Angel is my first, so it kind of made me who I am in a way, kind of gave me my break. So I feel happy, you know, because of that. Then Measuring Time, I think, is really what I express about my part of the country, about people who are exactly like me. So in a way, that's the way it is. Then you have the Nigerian Delta story, which is like Nigerian story, the third novel. So I'm all. I would say you, you read one of the most powerful poems in there about Lagos. Yeah. That was a very funny illustration of Lagos. What influenced that writing? I, I lived in Lagos, you know, I worked um, for the Vanga newspaper and I saw the... I'm from a small town in northern Nigeria, so coming to Lagos for the first time you can imagine the overwhelming feeling that I had and it stayed, it, the impression was so powerful, I had to express it, you know, and I just decided to make this bigness about different sections of Lagos. So that was its kind of spontaneous impression. And it won the Muson Poetry Prize. So it so gave me a big break. So do you get this criticism all the time about, um, uh, oh yeah, he's writing everything negative about Nigeria. Why not write something positive? I will write something positive. You know, when something positive happens, I'll write about it. <laughs> but my next novel is going to be more lighthearted. So definitely. So, no, no, no more, no more sad endings, definitely. And um, somebody was screaming behind us, I don't think you should be apologetic presenting the real situation of Nigeria. Exactly. And that is exactly. to confirm you still have quite a lot of people who appreciate the truth. They as want, yeah, people understand what's going on, so there's nothing to apologize, definitely. Yeah. When, are you, when are we going to see you in London again? <laughs> I don't know. I'm here just almost accidentally. I happened to be in Nigeria for the Fidelity Bank workshop of a holiday with my family. Yeah. And then when they had that, I was in town, they invited me for this. So it was just kind of almost accidental.